What is up here? It's this Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 5, Mirror Temples, B-Side. And in this episode, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, I do think it's taking me a little bit longer to complete these B-Sides now. Uh, hopefully, we're able to complete this B-Side in one episode. I'm sure there will be a point where I won't be able to complete an entire B-Side or C-Side or Chapter or whatever it may be in one episode. But we're not quite there yet, so I'm going to hold on to what I can. Um, hang on one second. Okay, so, this music, I dig it, I dig it, it's definitely different, but I, I dig it. Um, so we have to hit this wall thing in a couple different ways, oh man, and it's gonna require some quick reactions. Oh, I'm dead! <laughs> Darn. Climb. Oh, man. Oh, no, but I messed it up. And now it's going to go back down. Yep. So I need to, I need to continue with that. <sighs> this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Oh, no. All right, well, at least... Alright, made it through the first part. Definitely not a big fan of dealing with those segments. Because they just move so quickly that it's so tough to... Well, I guess... Reasonably think about where you're going. And no, oh, no! Oh, this... Guys, this might be the B-side. This might be the B-side where I stop in the middle. <laughs> this might be it. Because I still don't even understand... The, uh how these work that well. So whenever you... Okay, you like bounce off. Alright. So it is as it seems. But it's weird. Whenever I like continue or I guess whenever I get that new feather, it's uh... It's kind of like... I don't know. Not... It doesn't react how I'd expect, I guess, is a way of putting it. Oh, I'm digging this part of the music. I swear I've already rotated further down on my D-pad by that point. Like, I'm not just continuing in that direction. But, that's alright. I'll work through it. I swear, I was holding straight down at that point. I, like, paused and looked at my D-pad to make sure. There's got to be some sort of delay or something to the mechanics of how these Golden Feather works that I'm still just not 100% with. There's always some of them, right? There's always a couple mechanics that I'm just like, eh, I could do without these. In Meat Boy, it was the fans. This game, I feel like it's the, uh, the Golden Feathers. Ooh, we were almost there. We're gonna have to kind of wing it and see what dashing we'd have to do. Like, do you guys see that? Like, normally I have, like, these nice curved turns, and it starts, and then all of a sudden I get the new feather, and I just immediately continue straight in whatever direction I'm going. Again. Weird. It's so, alright, I think what I need to do then is input a new direction right afterwards so that I like reset the, the input vector or whatever. Okay, I wanted to test something there. I wasn't sure if it, there was like enough space for me to go just straight up and then it would run out and then I could fall and then dash to the right and start that segment. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I don't know. Getting <laughs> text from Lizzie. So my apologies for that. She's asking how work is going, and I'm like, it's it's Sunday. The quarantining has everybody losing track of which day of the week it is when you don't have to be in a, in for work and or class or anything like that. I don't intend to talk too much about COVID in these videos. I uh, 
I'm admittedly pretty tired of talking about it because everybody asks me about it. Because how is the hospital? How are the things going? And um, you know, what do we know about it? How does it compare to the flu? And what are the next steps? How does quarantining work? You know, all these things. I'm actually really happy to educate. Uh, That's one of my goals for my career in general. Is I want to, I want to be a doctor. Period. Um, specifically, a head and neck surgeon at this point. But I probably want to work at an academic center or a hospital so that I have the opportunity to teach residents and med students. And uh, in general, teaching is something I enjoy. So I'm happy to talk about and, and educate with you know, the people I can, but I would be lying if I said it wasn't getting tiring. Spending all of my time talking about it. Can I dash out of these? I can. I didn't know that. I don't think I knew that, like, ever. <laughs> that's really helpful. So that's definitely the move once I get up there. Oh, still too early. Here it is. This one screen is keeping me for so long. Oh, come on. Nice. Whew. All right, let's take a look here. So I need to jump on that, bounce around basically, to the left and then up and then there to the right and up to get the feather and then navigate my way down and around and up. Dang, that's uh, I feel like that's gonna be a pretty, pretty tough one. I was gonna say, I don't remember exactly how these work. But that was not a bad start. Darn it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man. That is a that is a short <laughs> that is a short time for that feather. This is gonna be tough. That was, that was not too bad, all things considered. Knowing that I'm not particularly good at using the gold feathers. Oh man. It's like tough to know when the golden feather will start moving you because you obviously need to move fast, right? And so you're like almost preemptively moving your D-pad as if you're like about to start moving. And you don't want to be behind on that. It's tough to react to. It's possible and I'm getting better at it, I guess. But uh, wow, with such a tight window for making it up there, you really need to be spot on with your movements. Alright, we made it up there. Now what? Now we got another one of these guys to deal with. Huh. I guess I'll start off with that. That didn't work out as planned. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do though, so... We will continue to do that. Nope, nope. Messed up my spacing there, but that's alright. Oh, you know what? I totally get near vibes from this music. That's a game that I have not completed. I beat, like, the first story, and I'm playing through... Oh wow, do those feathers not come back? Or at least not anytime soon. I'm playing through the second story. I guess minor, uh, near spoilers. Through, I think it's called like Route B. And it's just so similar that it's been a, it's been almost dreadful to pick it back up unfortunately because I've heard so many good things about it
but it's just hard to see when I'm spending so much of my time redoing a lot of what I did the first time around. And there's not a whole lot that's new. But it's alright, I'll get back to it eventually, I'm sure. Sometime. Too many good games. Not enough time. Tough to justify playing a game that you're not particularly enjoying every moment of. <laughs> when there's such a immense variety out there of games that you you could probably like a good chunk of them. Oh no, oh man, that was close. I feel like that ice block or whatever is going to fall as well as soon as I grab onto it, so I don't have a lot of time to think, presumably. Okay. Whew. This little segment here. Part of what's... I don't know. It happens whenever there's like a variable in a platforming game and there's like a continuous gradient, I guess, of outcomes. Right? So whenever you land on something that is like like the fans in Meat Boy, where it's like going up and down and up and down and it like varies a little bit, just a little bit based on the physics and the angles and all that stuff. Um, or like on this thing where you fall on a circle, right? And being off by one degree changes your trajectory just a bit. Those types of things where it's always like just slightly different kind of throw me off because you can't reliably plan or, or build that muscle memory, especially when they're like moving a little bit, right? So it's always like off by a little bit. I mean, some people might enjoy that because it does mean you have to like react a little bit more to whatever result you do get. So I can imagine some people would find that enjoyable, but I don't think that's my kind of thing. All right, let's try and, this is probably not a good idea, but let's try and just, just move a little bit more rather than spend so much time trying to plan out, you know, the exact angles and all that. Because if I don't get a high enough angle on this, then I can't get over this one. Oh, I'm shocked that, uh... I see, I see what I need to do. Yeah, I'm shocked that the platform didn't fall. Darn, not enough. It's kind of an interesting way to potentially go about it. So I could just like go over this way and dash and then up and be good. The other thing is I could potentially save myself because I get my dash back each time. So maybe I'll just try doing that. Alright back up over yeah that worked a lot better <laughs> okay how do we want to do this hmm okay And... Oh, man! I feel like I was actually pretty close there. Yeah, I think dashing into this side of it is going to be the, uh, the new way to go. <laughs> That'll definitely get me the most horizontal distance. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. What's the best way to go about this? Whew, 
That was that was close at the end there. That was a very close call. But we made it. Okay. Let's take a look. We have oh man. Oh my goodness, that is that is a long segment. Holy cow. So So I fall, hit this block on its right side. It'll dash over, start moving over to the right. While it's doing that, I need to get that feather, run around, get that card, the key, grab back onto it. Then I'm gonna have to jump off, grab that, and dash over, and... I probably have to hit off the bumper so that I have my dash when I keep going to the right here. And then eventually I'm gonna have to climb onto that, hit that, go over there, and... Oh my goodness. How am I gonna... I'm gonna have to hit it on... I'm gonna have to get it on the way back, too. I'm gonna have to see how this unfolds. This is one of those that I'm even just having a tough time trying to, like, plan because of how it looks. Hmm. I do think I need to do that, though. Darn it. But yeah, this is about to be a, uh, a real challenge segment. And then I only have one chance to make it through that loop in time. Whoa, that was... That was weird. I was like walking on the pink spikes for a second there. Yikes. <laughs> I had nothing to hold on to there. That uh, did not work as planned. Is it coming back? Okay. I was gonna say, eventually. Come on. Really? Then I die like that, I don't even get the chance to see... Uh, what happened as a result. Alright. There's a better way to go about this. So I definitely need... Yeah. I don't know, I'm not super convinced that there's a... better way to go about that, but I don't know, because... Okay. I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. I just watched to see how far on the other side of those pink spikes it actually went. Oh, I was too slow. I fell off instead of jumping off. Darn it. So my, my jump off alone will not be enough to um, to make it to that next segment. Save a death here, I guess, by doing that. 
No. Oh man. So I need to get on the right side of it and hit that again before it goes back on the other side. I don't know why for some reason I like tried to dash there. Nope. 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 Yep. I already messed that up. No! Oh man! I shouldn't have clung there. Then I might have made it. The thing is, I'm like fairly confident that, uh, oh man, I need to be faster there. That I really need to time the second block to be like in sync with the the first block this one that we're currently on if I want to if I want this all to work out as intended yeah I totally need to because then I get that that key on the top and then I just fall and get the one on the bottom and dash onto the uh, and dash to the left to hit this first block again What? <sighs> Come on. Okay. No! Why does that keep happening? I keep like hitting the walls and not like jumping off of them. Just like falling. Like that! Am I just like getting too ahead of myself? And not even, like, contacting the walls in the first place? As soon as I hit the crystals, or what? I mean, I'm sure you guys can see. Darn it. But yeah. I feel like... Aw, oh, darn it. I got stuck on that little ridge. <sighs> this sound effect, though, might be my favorite part of the level. Nice, nice, nice. Don't die. Oh. Whew. <laughs> that was a lot closer than I would have liked. Alright, we've reached a checkpoint. Are we about to have... Oh, man. Oh man, we're about to throw down with Badalyn. This is exciting. I remember this this part of the game was so hype. After we'd almost made it to the top, and then we fell down, and we have to fight ourselves. We have to learn about ourselves. We have to face ourselves in order to make our way back up. Oh no. Falling segment. Oh. Nothing too crazy, though. You guys hear the music stutter there? It's kind of weird, but... Now they're gonna up the difficulty, I'm sure. As long as there are no gold feathers. Oh, man. <laughs> I realized a little bit too late that I needed to be on the bottom half of that, uh, of that block. Oh. I didn't realize it would stop there, because I didn't react to that blue block there. But now I know. Water? Oh, that's why the sound cut out. It's because I went in the water and that always muffles the music. Makes sense. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, now we have the, the round ones. Whew. Oh, almost made it. I had to drift just right if I wanted to make it there. And I did not react in time to make it over there. Uh-oh, that was not enough. I probably still need my dash. Oh, I don't. However, being in the water is not 
It's not the end of the level. I could have still died if I just swam to the right there. Okay. More falling, more falling. Okay. Not too crazy of a falling segment. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, what? No, I shouldn't have. Uh, I thought I'd have to use the momentum. So I tried, and then, uh, well, you guys saw how that turned out. I do not have my dash. Okay. Keep on moving. Man, I just want, I want to throw down with Badalyn. Okay. Take a second to breathe. Although, obviously, that's probably a little bit too much time. Hmm. Oh, no. I saw it, guys. Did you see it, too? I saw the feather. I saw the feather. Alright. For some reason, I hit the crystal and thought it was a feather. It's happening. Okay. Wow, we are we are falling quite a bit, friends. Oh no, that was that was not the play. That was not the play. Now I'm, for some reason, having a difficult time with that little segment. Okay, I really need to hug that left wall there, too. No! I tried to re-grab the wall, but I did the thing where I didn't actually grab the wall before I tried to jump off the wall. Should have done a diagonal up left rather than straight left jump there. I'm gonna give myself a little more time to react while probably still accomplishing similar amount of distance. Okay. Oh, I thought I'd be able to hug the wall there. <laughs> that was uh, very not true. Okay. Oh, we were so close. You're so close there. Oh man, again, so close. It's really tight. Gaps to fall through. Darn, that was too much. <sighs> wow, I thought <laughs> I thought I was dead there. Probably should have been, honestly. Whew. All right, we're good. Now we're moving to the right. We're no longer falling. <laughs> honestly, I appreciate that. Uh oh, feathers. Not a fan of feathers. Oh, and there she is! Oh, man. She's finally here. I forget how this works. What do I do? Do I, like, hit her like that, and then something happens? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember this fight, so it's tough to say I know, like, you know, all the mechanics and everything I need to. So I think I do this, jump off of that, and then make my way over here. And then I have to hit her again. That's that's kind of tough. Maybe maybe not. Actually, no. I definitely need to. Cause yeah, that'll knock me onto that platform. Okay. Part of it is tough because it's tough, you know about seeing where I'm gonna actually get bounced to after I hit Battle in, but that's okay. 
This is probably gonna date myself on the internet, but I don't know if you guys remember the whole Dr. Octagonopus blah skits from way back in the day. Oh! And that that block is just gone afterwards. Just gone. Okay, I probably sped things up a little bit there. Got impatient. Should not have slid down the block while it was moving down. Just waited a moment. Fall! Oh! I can fast fall! Or at least it definitely seemed like it. That's good to know. Okay. Oh. Now we've got these little segments. Interesting. Do, do I always get hit back? It seems so. Interesting. Hmm. What's the best way to go about this? How soon after I hit battling can I dash? Not very soon. Certainly not immediately. But I definitely need to use that that crystal, right? That diamond to dash to the right to hit her again, I think. And I can't go on <laughs> without having done so, okay. That's good to know. Wait, what, did that fireball just completely miss me? If I don't use the crystal, it'll probably be, it'll still be there for me to use. So I think what I'm gonna do is not that. I tried to go directly up, straight up. And that way I could do something like that. I think I need to grab onto that. Okay, I don't think that was 100% how it was supposed to work, but you know, that's uh, all right-ish. Hmm. That's tough. That is tough. Because it's like, at that point, I feel like I need to, uh, land on one of these. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I wasn't even looking. So there's a golden feather in a bubble. I think that means I need to dash through to it. Darn. Had to hold more to the left. Okay. Oh man. Jump a little bit earlier. And again, more to the left. That was too much to the left. Impatience is a vice. It's like patience is a virtue. Okay. Oh man, I got it and then <laughs> did nothing with it. Okay. Almost. Okay. Does that feather not come back? I think that means I need to not use it so that I can get it then and fly over the spikes there. So, that's what we'll try next. All right. 
it. Oh no, the whole point is I'm supposed to have my dash at that point so I can break that bubble. Okay, okay, I see you, game. Wow. I can't believe I almost threw that away like that. Alright, well I at least think that that's a good route to start with. This one, not so much. I definitely need to integrate uh, hitting battle in to get my jumps back. How long does it take for them to come back? It's pretty much as soon as it ends, I think. That first fireball is always really tough. It's very on point. I definitely need to not get that second feather as well. Yeah, every time she goes there, if I'm on the wall at that segment, she's gonna get like a great shot at me. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Well, no, I need to I need to hit battle in before that second feather runs out. I'm fairly confident. Really? I wonder what happens if I just try and do it even faster. After I hit battle in. Yeah, I can't make it over there unless I jump off that wall. But that fireball is like always there. If I start particularly low on the wall, I think that'll fare better. So I go up and then down and then I hit battle in. Okay, I have to hit battle in and then get the golden feather again. And then go to the uh, lower half of that segment. Okay, okay. See you in the strategy. But man, is it a. Uh proven to be a little bit more difficult than anticipated, but that is a-okay with me. I don't know why, out of like the 20 times I've already done this, I decided to do it differently that time. I definitely need to hold right after that because it's not going to be there as soon as I want it to be. And I basically just need to stall so that after I hit her... Whoa! Okay, maybe I... Yeah, I definitely just hold right. And because of how like my momentum is working, that'll put me right into the... Uh, that'll put me right into the feather when it appears. So I just got to be ready for that, I guess. Yet, then I don't do it and stuff like that happens. Where's the, uh, the consistency?
Because I like want to hold right so that I can just dash into it, right? Because then it's like 100% in my control. But then stuff like that happens, where unexpectedly, before I even dash, I hit it and then I'm, you know, not moving in the right direction when I start the feather, and bad stuff happens. Alright. Alright, game, I'll try it your way. Hmm. So I definitely need to hit Battlin again at that point. I think I should go up and then to the right. So I like start from the bottom of the screen, go up and then around to the right to where Battlin is. Down and then up. Oh, those still... I can't tell, was that the spike or the fireball? Because I didn't think the fireballs actually knocked me out when I was riding around as a feather. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but I just don't know if it's actually really happened. Really? And it's like I wait for it, and then something like that happens, where I get the feather as I'm dying. Darn it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> no idea why I did that. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do that, because I want to see what happens with each time that she gets hit, where is she going to go to, and how will I respond, right? Having that information is pretty valuable. Why did it take so long there to get the, uh, the feather to come back? Interesting. So it is some function of how long you've been using the feather too, I guess. Yeah, I bet I hit, I just go straight to the right actually, instead of going up and over. I hit Battle and she's gonna bounce me over, get that last key, and then I fall and then go back to the right somehow, which I still haven't figured out yet, but we'll hopefully figure out soon enough. So close. Really? I think part of what's really annoying is just that fireball. Like, it's one of those things that it doesn't feel like particularly difficult. Just more there to, like, be a pest than, than a true challenge. But. Oh well. I don't know why that happens sometimes. I thought I died there. I like turned all white and everything and thought I had uh, not made it through. I should just hold to the right there and figure it out from there rather than hold upright and try to... Really? That's a new way of going about it. What? I thought I died! Oh, it's so tough to tell if you survive <laughs> or die when you get that feather. Like... <sighs> Even there I thought I died because I thought I hit the fireball. I need to take more time. That's pretty much what I the impression I'm getting. Is that I need to take more time with this uh, second feather. And that way I'll more reliably have it appear earlier so that I'm not like jumping past it and everything. Really? 
Okay. At least the background looks really cool. Darn it. Ugh, come on. I feel like this shouldn't be that difficult. That was really weird. Oh, so close. So close. I was so close to drifting right to getting that crystal, and I feel like if I had gotten that crystal, I would have made it. I feel like I would have made it. But I didn't. I guess I was too fast. I didn't realize the goal was to use up the feather as much as possible. I very much dislike piloting the gold feathers. Very much dislike it. But it's okay, we'll make it through because overall I like this game enough to do it. Overall I like the game enough to do it. Oh, I thought I was gonna run out earlier. Wow, and that time is the first time I took too much time and died because I took too much time with that feather and ran out before I got to battle in. Darn it. That's the surefire way to do it. Come on, come on. Oh, so close. Let's <sighs> just pull up at that point. No. <sighs> Is yeah, before I get to battle and start to like pull up and whatever use whatever of the feather I have left at that point. Those crystals are spaced out really, really tight, too. Like, the spacing is really tight in that you have to... You pretty much have to hit the crystal on the far right of the crystal if you want to make it to the next one in your single dash. At least that's the impression I'm getting. Hmm. It seems like going diagonal up left is not going to be able to get over that hump. So I'm probably going to have to wait until I like have enough recoil and am far enough to the left and then go straight up and then fade over. Like that. And then, oh man, but that was too much. That was very strange. I thought I had died from the fireball there. I thought I died there too. Very close to the pink spikes. Alright, this is this is requiring a lot of my focus right now. I'm sorry. Most of this episode has just been me being like, Oh, now I'm this, now I'm this. Oh, that was a little too much. Oh, that was not quite enough. What am I doing here? Gold feathers, eh. Gold feathers, eh. <laughs> Over, left, left. Oh, so close. <laughs> I should, honestly, when I get to those crystal parts, I should probably just be mashing square because I need to lose very little vertical um, 
distance, you know, height. And those segments if I want to make it to the feather at the end. Okay, and then... Oh, come on! Hit her! Oh! I thought there were spikes on that side of the wall, and I was like, oh my goodness, that would have been not ideal. Alright, let's let's think for a second. <laughs> let's pause. <laughs> Take a minute to breathe. Whew, I feel like we've got to be getting closer to the end. Um, so we got to fall, dash, replenish our dash, dash on top of the round block, wall jump, and then get over there and hit her. Okay, I don't think this segment will be as intense as the previous one at least. She seems to give up on the lasers after the, the first attack. Oh no, now she just alternates. Aw, oh, really? Okay. Oh, what? I thought I died! It's kind of annoying that so many of the like effects of her laser and then her getting hit as well as us dying all include like white flashes. I did not anticipate, uh, I, I probably was just looking ahead and so I didn't notice that it started flashing red, but I did not anticipate the feather running out at that time. Huh. That was not a problem I anticipated having. Having too much of an angle there. Darn. It's another one of those things where it's like the point at which the feather runs out depends obviously on how you move with the feather up until that point. So it varies from time to time. Which is not always reliable. Sometimes it feels like rather than react you need to be on top of things and be planning exactly when you're going to run out and your inputs at the time. But... Part of it is getting the muscle memory for certain... like... I guess... endpoints and movement so you know where you're going to run out. Well... That was not what I had intended. I intended to fall on the round thing and, and bounce, but... That is clearly not what happened. No! Don't! I'm trying to give myself enough height to get over it so that I bounce up rather than, you know, to the left or to the right for that matter. But I'm not trying to grab onto that segment. Hmm. I think it might be worthwhile to stall there, because that laser timing is pretty tight. It's definitely put there just to make, well, obviously to make that segment difficult, but that timing is very far from random. I think what I'm going to do, I've, I've got an idea, is I think I'm going to bounce back to the, the platform that falls, and then try it again after that, just because the timing will be different. So, let's see how that works. For some reason, I like, reacted to having already gotten the feather. I feel like it's because I was just looking at the feather. It's like a lot of times when I play these stages, it's like, I'm looking at what's coming up, not actually at Madeline herself. Also interesting, we got the feather, but it was we were like relatively lower when we got the feather, so we immediately died. First time that that had happened. Wow, that took a while to come back. Okay, so that might not actually be a, a very viable option. I can obviously mess around with um, timing my, my dashes a little bit differently. 
and see if that helps. But we definitely had some time there. Okay, that was like pretty close. But I also think that it wasn't quite enough time to really reset the laser cycle, and I feel like I'm still gonna have to do it with similar timing, even if I do that little strategy where I, you know, like delay it somehow. I was gonna say, I was way too low there. So I was gonna die if I just went straight to the right like I try to normally. I feel like the uh, the platformer fatigue is starting to kick in. And I can't wait that long. Because, yeah, look at this. I'm starting to, like, die on the, the simple things at the beginning. The stuff that I was doing so well over and over. It's usually a sign that, uh... It's probably close to, uh, time to be done. Whew. That was just another checkpoint? Wow, okay. All right, I guess. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. That's not how it's supposed to go. Yeah, this might be, like I said, guys, this might be the one. Let me check the time. This might be the time where uh, I say in the middle of an episode that we'll finish the uh, the B-side in the next one, because it's not looking very good. Wait, what? How did that happen? Ooh, okay. It's gonna be really tough to react those segments as they're happening. Darn. Because, yeah, I needed to know that that was going to happen. At least I can take a second to analyze it real quick. So, that will hit that block. I need to jump to the right. I'll hit that crystal. And then... Hopefully I land on the block. If not, I need to dash into it there and then grab onto it. It'll hit that and then it fling me to the top right or top left. Okay, I've got an idea at least, which is, you know, always a good start. Yeah, that's definitely the idea. Okay. No! Battlin is sniping us from afar already. Oh, that's right, I can't go through those. Hmm. Let's time this a little bit differently. Oh my! 
was not what I had anticipated. Hmm. Oh, they keep moving after that too. That's good to know. Darn, this is tough, but interesting. And it's already been probably an hour or so of recording at this point. Which is um, a little bit concerning. Oh, and I should have just not dashed there. Because I, I can definitely use that little segment as a breather, I think, so that I can time those platforms well. Oh man, and I could have saved myself there. me right into it. How do I time that better? I mean, I've obviously done it a couple times, right? But at the same time, it definitely doesn't feel like a great timing, I guess. Hmm. How much time do I have? Can I really use that to like kind of stable myself, stabilize myself? Get a grip on how the platform is moving and all that jazz? Maybe not. And, but there I feel like I could have, you know? I want the platform to come back. Because otherwise I feel like I'm not going to be able to reach it. I'll try though. Man, not quite. But I'll try. I'll just see if I can get as far right of an angle as I can. For some reason, I did not get my ideal wall cling and jump there, but... Hmm. Alright, well, that was pretty close to the end there. I think I'll just try and go for it. And the thing is, I can always save myself after bouncing off those things. I always forget. But I can, uh... I can dash pretty quickly afterwards. You know, I should just fall to the right of it and then dash into it. I think that'll be a much more reliable way of getting that really far angle. So I think that's what I'll do. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay. Whew. We're in the clear, but oh man. We still have more to go. <laughs> we still have more to go. Okay. So... Clearly, we've got a lot to work out here. Darn it. Well, I like the idea of dashing into the side of these to ensure that I'm getting a, you know, a good amount of, uh... Wow, that's a lot of fireballs. Hmm. Oh no! Really? Oh man. At least I don't think this room doesn't seem as difficult as the other rooms. Wow. 
I cannot even believe that that's just that's how I just died. <sighs> I got more worried because I saw the golden feather, honestly. one we've got to be getting close to the end <laughs> I'm starting to feel it now I'm starting to feel it it's been a long episode I'm ready I'm ready to be at the end oh man almost made it there in time we gotta time this well oh I shouldn't have used my dash I thought it was just going to go to the right, not further down. But I guess that's okay. Alright, well, wait a minute. Down we go. Okay, and I definitely have enough time to speed through it at that point. So, I can afford to move a bit faster there. Part of it's just knowing, right, like where you're gonna end up after you hit Battlin. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh man, I should have just dashed! Should have just dashed. Oh my, that was a pretty weird way to go about it, but it worked for the most part at least. Oh, I expected to go to the wall like it had been throughout the entire room so far, not down to my death. Okay, feathers, great. I see. Alright, well, we'll wait a second. No! <laughs> Come on! Oh man, I thought I got that. But I think that's definitely the strategy, is just hide up there with my dash. That way I can uh, more reliably get that timing. Oh, that was close. Come on. Did we finally do it? Are we finally there? We are finally at the final room! Is Battling gonna be here destroying us as usual? Huh. Well, this is certainly an interesting uh, interaction. <laughs> I need to get on the other side of it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, go over it in some interesting way. Like that. 
in order to do it. We'll stick with that for now. But it's proving to be rather troublesome. Come on. Oh, I just need to get on top of it so I could get a dash, and that way I could at least stall, right? Because if I can at least stall in the air with a dash, well, that gives me a little bit more time to work with. Nope, 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 we're going straight up, okay. I see. No! No, I said, I see, and then was trying to time it, and then just ended up falling to my death. Wonderful, wonderful job. Truly top tier skill. Oh, what? No, I thought I dashed to the left. I thought I dashed to the left, not up. Oh man. Alright, well, either way, I see how this room is supposed to be done. And um, it seems doable, and it won't be too crazy. And even better, no golden feathers. Aw, yeah. Wow, that was a save. Oh, almost! So I've got to really time that well. Or really position that well. Here we go. There we go. Whew. Okay, Center of the Earth, Chapter 6, B-Side, complete. I'm going to remember not to let go of the controller and have it vibrate right by the microphone. Whew. Chapter 6, B-Side, complete. That was... That was a pretty tough one. Um, I don't think I enjoyed that one as much, just because, again, I, I liked the reliability of the strategy of falling to the side of the round, like bouncers or bumpers, and then dashing into them to get those specific angles that you were aiming for. But the golden feathers are not my jam. <laughs> I don't really like controlling them much. So I don't think that one was my favorite. 400 deaths, wow. Compared to like the 200 from before. It definitely took longer and I definitely died a lot more. Um, we'll see, I, I mean, you guys know what I like at this point, right? You know, I like wall jumping, I like puzzles, I like fast moving, I like fast jumping. Though That's my favorite type of platforming, not so much kind of like the, the 360 type control of navigating the mazes with those those golden feathers. But the, the battling aspects were pretty neat um, as well. And I, I appreciated what they did and the complexity they took those golden feather puzzles. Really needing to map out your route and when you were going to hit battle in so you hit certain areas and... The timing, they, this is the first time I thought about like how frequently those golden feathers come back based on, well, how long you spend using that golden feather. So yeah, it was I, I can still appreciate it even though I didn't enjoy it as much. But regardless, next up is chapter seven's B-side, the summit. This one is probably gonna take a couple episodes. So, whew, hope you guys are ready. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.